All right, guys. So today is a different video. So we're not gonna do no reactive video. What we're gonna be doing is gonna be reacting, not reacting, predicting every Chicago team's record for their upcoming season. Obviously, the Sox and White Sox season has already started. So we're gonna be just predicting on how they will finish the season. But the Bulls, Sox, the Bulls, Hawks, and Bears. Are still yet to come. We're not gonna do the fire because they're not as a team that I watch. I don't watch the WNBA. I just watch the NBA. So we're gonna be predicting what these teams and what their final record will be. See, will they make the playoffs? Will they not? Starting off with the first team. Pause, but starting with the first team for real. All right. So starting off. <clears throat> We're going to start with the teams that are already playing, which is the Cubs and Sox. Starting off with the White Sox. So, we're obviously 14-14. and 14. We played today against Cleveland. Yesterday, we would have been 15-13, and 13, but we blew it at the last minute, and now we're tied at 14. So, I don't know the White Sox schedule, but I just know that upcoming is going to be pretty hard. We swept the Red Sox, which somehow we beat the Red Sox. And I said, maybe we have a like a split between the Guardians. And then all I know next is that we're playing the Yankees. Which, that is going to just be total L. So, if the White Sox can come today and win today, and win the next thing against Cleveland, we could hopefully go in. At, I think we're at home against the Yankees, so that would be a little bit better. We could play at home against the Yankees and beat them. Last time these two teams played, Tim Anderson made the... Best home run of his little career. But I don't know the entire schedule. I said this last year when I was in Aurora. I, and the White Sox were like not that great. I was like, okay, White Sox are starting off pretty bad. But I think that we'll pick it up. Anderson, Robert, Jimenez, Anders, Abreu, Makata's back. Those guys are our are, are team. Like they're our guys. Anderson's just been that guy that just been hitting home runs, home runs, leading us. Robert too. He is he's young, has a lot of strength. Jimenez also. He just has a lot of strength. He's I don't know about speed, but he has a lot of his power to just boom, hit it's a home run. Even though he does get hurt every single time he plays, so he's out for six to eight weeks, and now I won't be able to see him, knowing that I have a. Eli Jimenez white jersey that I cannot be proud to wear because he is gone. But the black jersey is for Tim Anderson, even though it doesn't have anyone on it. I said, Tim Anderson is starting to become one of my favorite baseball players in the league. I, I obviously still don't care about baseball, but I only watch baseball if it's the Sox. And because there's no other team playing. I am wearing the Bears, but... Yeah. So... I think that the White Sox, we're going back to last year in Aurora, the White Sox were starting off pretty sluggish. They were like below. And I was like, I think the White Sox would pick it up. They just came out of a little playoff here, first round exits. I'm like, okay, maybe the White Sox can, maybe the Sox can pick it up. And get better. Like, it's the start of the season. New people coming to the team. We'll get better. Look at that. Boom. Playoffs. But we lost the Astros. So, I'm still having that belief that we can go far in the playoffs. Maybe not far. Like, if we play teams like Baltimore. No, Baltimore. Actually, Baltimore's doing good this year. Not really that good, but better than last year. If the White Sox can play the Red Sox, I think the Red Sox can make the playoffs. But if all of the White Sox play teams like New York, um, Houston, I just wear Lake Houston again, we're out. Maybe the, um, maybe the dot no. But definitely teams like New York, Boston, Houston, maybe Toronto. Toronto's actually pretty good. If we play those teams, we're out, mainly. We could possibly at least play those four teams. That's what I'm predicting. 
if we make the playoffs, that's the teams I think we're playing. But I could definitely see the White Sox either playing the Blue Jays or the, the Red Sox and go far. So the White Sox, I could see them at least up to 83 to 96 wins at best. At low, at least like 50 to 70. I still think the White Sox will be really good. I I know we'll be really good. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. So White Sox at least like 90 to 80 to 90 wins total. But I think we'll still be able to make the playoffs. So let's we'll start last, first off White Sox. Up on our list, we got the Chicago Cubs. I really don't want to do that right now. But I have to to this video. Cubs are also terrible this year. I think they're like 10 and 8. 18, very close to 20 losses. I think that maybe the Cubs may pick it up and be better. I don't know. It just depends. Because the White Sox have a chance. No, yeah, because the White Sox and Cubs are playing each other again late May. So during our 8th grade graduations. I don't know why I'm, I look like a 6th grader. I don't. I'm not a 6th grader. But... I don't see the Cubs being as the high level the White Sox are. Like, this is the White Sox. The Cubs could at least be in the middle of the pack. Maybe a little bit above. Maybe a little bit below. But I think I see them being decent. I don't see them being that good. Maybe the Cubs still had Rizzo, Bryant, Habayas, Hayward. They could, If they had them, I'd say exactly what the White Sox are. But who'd win? The 2021 Chicago White Sox or the 2016 Cubs? Who do you think will win? I actually think that the Chicago White Sox of 2021 can barely beat the 2016 Cubs in the World Series. And I just asked my friend that. Will the White Sox and the Cubs ever play in the World Series against each other? I say it could be a possibility, but at the same time, like, no. Because I don't never, I never seen a, like a finals where it's two teams from the same city. Like in cross town, I never seen that. I never seen Rams Chargers doing that. I never seen Jets Giants. Well, they never happen because they both suck. I never seen like I don't know Nets and Knicks. I think they're the same. Same. I think they're in the same conference. But I'm not sure if the Knicks are East or, or West. I think they're East. But what do you guys think of the Cubs? If they still had those guys, up here. But now, sluggish. So Cubs, for my prediction, I think the Cubs will at least have at least through 60 to 70 wins at best. Low, at least like 30 to 40. Maybe 50. Because, again, Cubs were starting off good, actually. And then they tried. <laughs> White Sox, they were starting off like 7 and 2. Then the <laughs> losing streak and then it killed us. So, Cubs at least like 60 to 70 wins. Next up, we got our Chicago Bears. Last year, we finished 6 and 11. You guys better stop making fun of the Bears for being 6 and 11. 6 and 11 is not as bad as 413, 412, 512, or like. Just the Vikings level. Maybe Lions. Okay, Vikings ain't that bad. Just, just Jefferson's too overrated. But I thought maybe the Bears can at least be Super Bowl contenders. Okay, definitely not Super Bowl contenders. But like playoff contenders when we got Justin Fields. I thought maybe we were only going to get like four or five wins. Because we have Andy Dalton. But then, well, people was like, Matt Nagy, you're done, bro. And then he made it up and said, all right, Chicago, this is the time where I help you guys. This is the this is the pick that will make Chicago fans believe again. With the 11th pick, I got Justin Fields. And everyone was like, yes, yes, yes. But then he turned out to the season, everyone was hyped up like, ooh, Oh, the Bears going to be good. I think 12 and 5. Super Bowl. Win the Super Bowl. But you really look at the season, bro? I am burping. 
I don't know why, but if you really look at the season, it was worse. Worse than I thought. I thought maybe at least like eight, nine wins. No, six. Three and seven. Four and ten. Do you even consider yourself like good at that time? Are you are you even happy if your team is three and seven or four and ten? Four wins compared to ten losses, bro. Compare that to a team like the Rams. The Bengals somehow came up. Bengals used to be... And now they like, Joe Burrow, lift it up. But then you lose the Super Bowl. So, with the opponents, I did, a bear, I did an NFL season opponent one. Even though I did have to cut it short because I was going to Chicago that day to go to a boxing event. It was a good event. It was pretty long though, but... So, close to, like, I think, like, at the end of the school year is when I'm going to do another video of this. So, of an NFL prediction. But this time, I'm doing all the teams. Not just, how, how, how many teams did I do? Six, seven? Or, like, eight? I don't know, but I'm going to get more than just six. I'm going to do all 32. So the Bears with their schedule, I obviously said they have teams like the Eagles, the Commanders, Dolphins, Niners, Jets, Jet, Giants, Falcons, Lions twice, split with the Vikings, the, like maybe split with the Packers. So that's about like 12 wins at least. I got to look back at the schedule. Because I cannot fully, I do not fully know. So this is the Bears schedule right here. I'm just going to um say that at least, depending, like, I thought Mac was, if Mac, Cohen, Goldman, Trevathan was still here, I could say 12, 13 wins. But then all of a sudden the Bears like, Gone, 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 gone. Nine. It slimmed down. I still think we can have a winning record to make the playoffs, but yeah. So Bears at at least nine and eight. Next up, we got the Chicago Blackhawks. Suddenly suck now. So I don't remember what their record was. I know that they almost had 30 wins and they almost had 50 losses. I think they had like 26 something wins and like 42 losses or something. I don't know. I don't follow hockey. I I have not watched a single playoff hockey game. I'm serious. But Blackhawks don't deserve this, bro. Like literally don't deserve to suck. I thought that the Blackhawks will be good as long as like 2025. And then 20 18 is when it just suddenly fell down. Confused. I was like, okay. We fired Coach Q. Not a good mistake. Not a good, not a good idea. We got a young dude. We got a young dude. New generation of the Blackhawks. Teach us something new. What has Jeremy Carlton done? Absolute nothing. Okay, he took us to the playoffs at least like once or twice. We were, nah, we weren't even first round exes. I think we made it to like the third, fourth round, almost the finals. So I think that that was good. That was good that he at least took us to the playoffs at least. What is there really to celebrate with that dude? Like what really is there to be happy with? You need to see that dude, all right? What is there to really be celebrating about? So, I don't know what the Blackhawks schedule is. I just know that they're probably going to play every single team in the league. Um, You know what? I actually think if the Hawks don't start up 0-9, we literally started 0-9, which killed us. I think it was 0-9. We were starting like 0-7-10 or something. I'm like, no, we weren't ready for this season. And then the Blackhawks started winning. They had like six to nine or like seven or nine. I'm like, wow, 
We're starting to pick it up. And then someone said, are the Blackhawks really playoff contenders? Oh, no. And then they said, losing all again. And then they just lose unnecessary games. So, Blackhawks, can y'all pick it up? Maybe. I can see them at least, at best, at like 32 wins. At worst, 23. So they'll get at least to 30, 23 to 32 wins. That's what I'm just thinking. All right, let's get to the last team. So we're going to do Illinois football. Because basketball season, we'll do when Illinois basketball comes. But Illinois football is coming in a few weeks. So we're going to do Illinois football. So we're going to go to Illinois football the last. So we're going to do the Bulls next. Ready, hurry, we're doing the Bulls. So for me, trash. Picking it back up because we got DeMar DeRozan, Levine, Vooch, Kobe, all the dudes on the team. Picked it up with the new coach, Billy Donovan, from Jim Clownhead Boylan. Picked up playoffs. First round exit because we're playing the Bucks. Because Giannis is way too overrated again. Y'all be thinking, why? Y'all be thinking, Andre, why you keep thinking these guys are overrated? They're just good. I, yeah, they're good. But like every time I see something on it, it's just like, oh yeah, John Moran. Number one all time. Jamar Chase. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can say Jamar Chase. Definitely great all time. Well, not all time. <clears throat> but, like, he's definitely, definitely did really good with the Bengals. John Morant. Dude, I don't know, bro. Justin Jefferson is just way too overrated. Like, I'm not even just saying that. Like, he's way too overrated. It's like, every time I watch highlights of Justin, they show, like, him elite. And then when you watch, like... When I watch, like, an actual game of him, because the only time I watch Vikings games is if the Bears play Vikings or something, just to watch. And then Justin Jefferson, what is he doing? Nothing. I'm like, so when I look at highlights, he's good. But really, he's not. Why am I talking about Justin Jefferson when I'm talking about Bulls? So, but, dude, DeMar DeRozan, obviously, he had, like, tons of buzzer beaters. Zach Levine just hitting threes, three threes, Kobe threes, Vooch. I don't know why I'd just be crapping on Vooch so badly. Like, it's just, like, I shouldn't be crapping on him, but at the same time I should. He's missing easy threes. He's missing layups. He's turning the ball over way too much. Like, what are you doing? And then he surprises me with threes and stuff. And I'm like, okay, so now you start to pick it up. And then mess up again. So. I actually think I don't. Oh, <gasps> oh yeah, the schedule's gonna release soon. The NFL schedule's gonna release soon. We're not talking about that right now. Oh, okay. So about the Bears, we're gonna be doing a Bears season prediction and then a NFL one. All right, but Bulls, maybe I can either see them having the same record. Or, I can see them doing a little bit worse or a little bit better. I don't know. I, I just don't see it. I can see them bear, Bulls. I can still see the Bulls getting like 40 wins, but I don't see them getting like 53, like the Suns kind of record or Warriors. Somehow the Grizzlies are good. But I can see the Bulls at least like 41, 42 wins. I can still see them making the playoffs. But again, like the sixth seed, maybe the play in. No, I don't think the Bulls are that bad to the play in. But I think at least like four to six seed. So Bulls at least like 40 wins. And at worst, I can see them like at 30. But I don't, I still don't think the Bulls will be that bad. I think the Bulls will be good. I just don't know if they'll be better or worse. Just depends on what's gonna happen. So I don't know. Now let's get to the last team. And now to close it all off, the Illinois Fighting Illini. Our crew. If you're an Iowa fan, get out. Because me do not tolerate ha Hawkeyes. I'm joking. If you're an Iowa fan, you don't even you don't have to like Illinois. We we every every fan's welcome. If you're a Packers fan, you're welcome to this channel. We accept everyone. I made crap on your team. Because I don't like him, but I'm not gonna say, "Oh, you're a Packers fan. You're never, you're not allowed to watch it." No, you all can come. 
everyone from different people like, around the world can watch it. From even if they're a Packers fan, they despise the Bears to death. I don't care. You're still welcome. But Illinois College start of the season, absolute crap. Picked it up at the end. So we made the playoffs. Well, not play. Well, bowl. Five and seven. You know who we played? Cal. I think California, right? Yeah, I think California. Yeah, we was five and seven. Well, I don't know if we did make the playoffs. I think like we was have bowl potentials, and I think someone said we did make the bowl and lost to California. I know we made it a few years ago, like in twenty nineteen or something, but. This last season, I don't know. I think they did make it to the bowl. I know we lost. I think we definitely lost. At least we made it. Illinois is average. At least to like six, uh, like five to six wins. Maybe seven. Illinois is good enough to at least do that. Is Illinois, Bama, Georgia level? Absolutely crap not. Because if Illinois ever play Alabama or Georgia... Just know that it's going to be infin infinity to nothing. Well, I think Illinois, if the, if the Illini do get to play Alabama or Georgia, I don't want Illinois playing those two. I actually want to see Illinois play Clemson. I think Illinois has a small chance of being Clemson. But at least, like, zero chance with Bama or Georgia. But if Illinois plays those three teams, I can say... Illinois can be a competitive a little bit, but still definitely lose. We're definitely losing. You're definitely losing to Clemson. Well, maybe not Clemson. Definitely losing to Georgia. Definitely losing to Bama. Bama makes it every single year. But Georgia, they I, they still make it every year. But Clemson, I can see potential Illinois beating Clemson. Clemson had like four more wins in Illinois or something. Who cares? I don't watch college unless it's. The boys, Illinois. Unless it's just Alabama or Georgia. I'm not a fan of in either besides Illinois, but Clemson? I'm cool with Clemson. I'm cool with Clemson. People that like Georgia and Bama hate Clemson. I don't hate Clemson. I don't hate Clemson. I think they're cool. Trevor, the long hair dude, looking like a girl. He's long gone. And we got this DJ. Dude, um, Bama, just Bama. They get new receivers every year. Goes to draft every single time. Get picked up by the Lions. The Lions are literally picking up everyone and then just screwing their careers. Georgia. Whatever. So I, so Illinois did release their schedule. And I will be doing an Illinois season prediction too. Bears, Illini, and the whole NFL. And I'll do Illinois basketball when Illinois basketball Schedule comes out. That's going to be another time, probably in like in October. So I'll do another video of predicting those records. So, do you guys agree with this? Do you not agree? Hopefully the Sox win today. Hopefully they win through the rest of the season. There's no team that's going to finish off with just 14 losses in baseball. White Sox are going to get like 30, 41 losses. And the White Sox is going to get like 50 more wins. We know that. But... What do you guys think? Win a playoffs or no playoffs? White Sox playoffs of no playoffs. Cubs play no playoffs. Bears play no playoff. Hawks play no playoffs. Bulls, Illini. What do you guys think? With that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace off.